simple life is what these courses are based upon. And that is permaculture based, so you do get that in. However, it is a lot more, it's much more, because Bill Mollison, the founder of permaculture, didn't believe in going beyond the atmosphere. He thought all energies and all pertinence disappeared once you left the atmosphere. And therefore, uh, astrology would no longer be valid and things like biodynamics would no longer be valid. Well, I've been practicing biodynamics for a great number of years and I can tell you on no uncertain terms that it's quite valid and it makes a big difference uh, to uh, our outcomes when we apply it properly. Um, anyway, I like the idea of being more in sync with the universe. And I think that our lives are a little bit more harmonic, a little bit more uh, synchronistic, if you will, with all of that which is around us, and particularly the energies. So simple life is permaculture plus. We can call it this. One thing I have learned, for example, uh, you're not gonna hear these philosophies in, in permaculture, is that all life, all forms of life, everything that exists, really, that has any kind of an energy associated with it, is, be, is pretty much the same. It behaves the same. It just expresses that behavior in the style afforded its own species and setting. Now, we are humans, of course, in planet Earth. Uh, we've got what? love, anger, jealousy, uh, you know, envy, things like this that, that we express in the course of the day. Curiosity, uh, creativity. Well, these things are expressed uh, under, our so under our feet in the subsoil environment as well. These communities of bacteria, the same as communities of humans, same as communities of zebra, or communities of anything else we've got on the surface of the planet is going on down there. And it only makes sense that it would have to in order to be consistent with life processes. So that what we see going on under the soil, when we treat it with a, with a certain sort of a care, we treat it with uh, respect and we give it what we know it's, that's going to benefit it. It's going to respond in like kind by giving us great crops, by, uh, by being a healthy, supportive soil, which is gonna grow healthy plants, and uh, all the other things that it does down there that we don't even know about, uh, because we have given it a good head start. So this is like love in action, this is love uh, in motion when we are going cross species uh, and fertilizing a field what ends up happening is in the beginning there are massive wars in comes all of this uh, nutriment and all of this substance and it's it's done in the most violent way we take our metal objects we chop into this soil we throw these things down under the soil and all of a sudden all of these beings are in there like invaded with all this foreign substance. Now, there are other beings just like them in this substance as well. And some that are they've never seen before. And so war ensues. And what you end up having then uh, eventually is an agreement. Same like we have here. We have our wars, our world wars. We have all of our senseless political stunts that we're pulling on behalf of people that don't care about us and we go off and fight wars, later we come to agreements after all the spoils have been raked off by those folks that made us fight the war in the first place. Uh, they get what they want and we are left as human beings, we are left as the underlings, as the doers in the situation. 
to work it out, to, to, to work together and to, to have civilizations that can live together. This is what goes on under the soil, in the subsoil environment as well. And having said that, think about things like soil structure. Now, that's just a benign topic. That's something scientific, something technical. Uh, this is something soil scientists are all excited about, but what about us? Well, I get very excited if I know that there's a good soil structure in any piece of land anywhere. Because what it, it's nearly a miracle. It is a miracle. Because what it means by definition is that all of the beings under that soil are in agreement. Otherwise, there's no structure. Otherwise, it's just changes from millimeter to, to micrometer to, to nanometer to nanometer. And you've got no structure. You've got none because everybody's doing their own thing. But when you get in there and you get finally a consensus, like a, democ a democratic situation going on, they say, or a forceful one where they hold a gun or they hold you know, the threat of death against all the other beings and they say, you either do it this way or you perish. And they uh, are given examples just the same way as we do it up here. They're given examples as to how what we're proposing does work and how it benefits them eventually. So then everybody gets in on the act. So you get societies down below the soil, megapolises and societies and very sophisticated sort of control networks uh, of all kinds, the same as we have here on the surface with all of the different animal species. And it ends up becoming soil structure with what they've got to work with there and with the, the flow of moisture that they have and the types of bacterium that they've got all through, through, the, media, through the media, through the soil that they have. Uh, this is what they create. Uh, they do it uh, as a sort of a subconscious effort for the entire life being under the soil to survive and to thrive. We all have that urge. We all have that urge. So anyway, I'm just giving you a little tidbit on what Simple Life is about. You're not going to read this in the permaculture book. And as we go out into the field and we learn our farming and we do our work together, uh, these kinds of stories will be uh, told to you as background, as sort of an insight for you to, to add in and to hopefully give you to flesh out a bigger picture of the universe. And by the way, Simple Life is based on unified science which is our new physics now. This is our unified field theory finally discovered, which most of you and most people in the world are never going to believe. It's, uh, it's gonna take another generation or two before this unified science gets called just science or just physics. But uh, right now it has been discovered by Nassim Harman and his cronies and the scientists hundreds all over the planet which are who are proving out all of these things and I will describe this to you as well. Suffice to say that if there is a science out there, a, 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 a edge cutting science that is in front of the unified science, I will no longer teach the unified science. But what you and I learned in school is the best we had at the time. That physics is the best we had at the time. It has now been replaced as everything in this universe gets replaced eventually. As humans, we are so resistant to change, we don't want to hear that. Uh, but I am going to be teaching this, the basics of this, also during our time together. So it's a lot more than farming, folks. It's getting you a little bit more, hopefully, in touch with the universe, a more friendly universe, a simple universe, an organized universe, a loving universe. And I'm not being airy-fairy here. I am not being New Age when I say that. I will give you hard examples. Maybe something you've never heard before in your life. 
but it's all true. And this what is what gives me the inspiration to keep doing this all my life and the, and the urge, the need to show others that I think that what we're getting as education out in the world is just not accurate. It's just not reflecting of what we truly live in. So let me stop my blah, blah at this point. My name is M, environmental engineer, the founder of Simple and Simple Life. Simple, by the way, stands for sensible, most important, integrated, multiplicity for practical living. That's a mouthful. We'll explain that next time. Anyway, nice to have talked with you again. Hope to see you in Spain. We're excited to be back in Spain now. And uh, look for the details, the when and where and the contact info uh, around this message, around this YouTube channel. And hopefully see you soon.